So you want to add some payment options into your online store. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So the first thing you want to do is to have your Shopify account already been created. You don't want to focus into your online store. You don't have to worry about the, all that information because we're just going to be focusing into the payment options. So for that, what you want to do is to locate the settings that appears into the low part of my website. And here I want to locate, I'm going to close this, sorry, I'm going to go locate my actual payments that appears in here. So as you can see, have the payment of Stripe and the provider of PayPal. If you don't have anything here, you don't have to worry about that. What you want to do is to go into add payment methods. And here what you want to do is to either search by payment method or search by provider that appears already in here. So depending on the option that you choose, it's going to be appearing, let's say, for example, that I want to accept Visa and MasterCard. And let's say that I want to accept the Apple Pay, for example. So I'm going to tap in here, Apple Pay. And you tap the option in there. So as you can see, we do have different options that you can just enable. For example, in my case, in the current um, country I'm living, what I think is going to be helping me a lot to accept money is to use a scroll. So once you choose the provider that you want to use, hit into activate. So what's going to be happening depending on the option that you choose, for example, in my case, it's going to be asking me for the account information, the secret word, and all the cards that you want to enable in here, and you want to go into the Excel scroll. After you have successfully done that, if I go back, it's going to be appearing into the payments, the Stripe section. So with that being said, we have now been enabled our stuffed and in my case, all the different transactions I would love to use. So in my case, you want to enable the test mode. Once you have successfully done that, you can go into your store and try to make a pot chase just to figure it out if this one works or not. So with that being said, guys, we've reached to the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools about our amazing, amazing Shopify website. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and well, I will see you next time.